Sherry Farmer here with you, and today is Tuesday, June 17th. By chance, did you see the ad on Craigslist, which is looking for women to pose for the Invisible Girlfriend app? Well, it turns out the app creator from right here in St. Louis. Halea Cassell met up with Tyler Sondag at the Fountain on Locust. Invisible Girlfriend gives uh, social credible proof to people who are um, wanting to be in a relationship or can't be in a relationship, um, and who are in really uncomfortable positions a lot of the time. Um, so we send you things like text messages, voicemails, um, emails. We send you gifts or flowers to your office um, or home and really kind of make it seem like uh, you're in a relationship and you're the only one who knows that you're not in a relationship. Okay, so is it just girlfriends? Not to, well, uh, we have invisible girlfriend and invisible boyfriend as well. So to us it really doesn't matter the gender. You can be man, woman, uh, you can be interested in a man or woman. It doesn't matter. Invisible boyfriend, invisible girlfriend, whatever you want. Okay. So, uh, is she gonna eat that? Uh, well, Bethany actually doesn't like whipped cream, but uh, she'll, she'll eat it. <laughs> Tyler doesn't look like he'd need an invisible girlfriend, does he? It's an acquired taste. Tomorrow, June 18th, is the big kickoff party for the St. Louis Fringe 2014 in the Grand Center. It all starts at Strauss Park at 5 p.m., and that's where you should go first if you're attending one of the many shows. In fact, St. Louis Fringe Executive Director M. Piero is there right now. Hi, I'm here at Fringe Central Station. This is our center headquarters during the Fringe Festival. In addition to the space around me where we'll have free performances going all throughout the festival for people of all ages. We also have six venues all within walking distance. We have free golf cart rides. We can get people all around Grand Center and Midtown during the days of the festival to enjoy every single kind of performing art that you can think of. For the conventional, to the absurd, to the musical, to theater, to dance, any Anything and everything that can you, you can put on the stage can go into the festival. We have a lot to enjoy, and so we hope we see you there. I know what the juggler is, but what is that other person doing? She's the fringe. Hey -o. <laughs> the fringe runs through Sunday, June 22nd. Go to stlfringe.com for the full event schedule. Have you seen the new articulated bus in St. Louis yet? Well, that's what Metro's calling it. But here are a few of the names St. Louisans are calling it on our Facebook page. Anina Christensen is on Grand near the Metro Link stop right now, waiting to catch a glimpse of the bus. I'm here in front of the Grand Metro Link station. It's right behind me, also where the Metro buses pick up. And the new articulated Metro bus is going to be passing by any minute now. Just any minute, we're just waiting for it here. Uh, it's the new bus in St. Louis. Uh, they've had it in a lot of other cities around the United States, but it's the first time that it's here and they're implanting it here because there are so many people that want to ride the bus and so it's a bigger and better system. Uh, so, well, yeah, we're just going to be waiting around here all day. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll figure out when it comes. Should we tell her? <laughs> While she waits, let's go ahead and check in with Kelly Henson to find out what On STL is giving away this week. The Muni opened this week with Billy Elliot the Musical with music by Elton John. And On STL is giving away two pairs of tickets with a $30 gift card to Vita Sicilian Pizzeria and Restaurante. Plus, we're giving away tickets to Electric Flurry, which is coming to St. Louis July 5th. To enter our contest, check our Facebook page daily. The music you're hearing on today's show is Blue Bandana by St. Louis's own Pat Liston, who will be appearing live this Saturday at the Wolf in Baldwin. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week, St. Louis.